Welcome to the homework for lesson 25. This is module two of first grade. Get your name on here first. And we're circling true or false. Um, the way to do this is to figure out, we have two expressions and this equal sign in the middle says that they have to be the same. They have to be equal expressions. If they are, then it's true. If they're not equal, then it's false. So when we have all this room over here, right, you don't have to draw this box like I'm drawing. I'm just trying to show you. You have all of this room, half of the page over here to use to make, uh, to figure these out. So two plus three, you might just know that that's five and five plus one, that's six. Five is not equal to six, so it's false. So that one I didn't even have to use any of this room over here. But some of these, you'll see that they will. 6 plus 10, that's a 16, because that's a 10, 6, right? 7 plus 9, you might think, well, let's see if I take 1 from the 7. Let's just write this up here, 7 plus 9, right? 7 is going to be a 1. We're going to make 10 to add this. So that's 10, 6, right? So this is 16. So these are both 16, and they're true. Then we have 11 minus 8 and 12 minus 9. Now, these are pretty close. We can count these up, right? 11 minus 8 is 9, 10, 11. So that's three numbers. And 12 minus 9, if we count from 9 up to the 12, that's 10, 11, 12. That's three numbers. So it's true. All right, here we have 15 minus 4 and 14 minus 5. Well, let's draw it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And you cross out 4. And we have right, a 5 group, a 5 group, and one more. And we have 11 left. So 15 minus 4 is 11. And 14 minus 5 is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, and crossing out 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we have these 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that's 9, 11 is not the same as 9, so they are false. And that's how you figure these out. You, you find out, solve each expression, and find out if they're the same. 18 minus 6. You could do this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. This would be a lot easier to use to, to do using number bonds. Uh, and that's 18. Subtract 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I have 4 here and... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 8 more. So it's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This one is 12 left. And then 10, 2 is 12. So those are two 12s, and it's true. That was kind of a lot of work, but you can see what happens. Even just when we get into the upper teens, drawing pictures and crossing out, it starts to get to be a lot of work. So it really helps to be good at the at using the number bonds. It's, it's going to be a lot faster and easier. 15 minus 8, so 15 minus 8, and here's an example just to remind you, because it's probably been a while since you practiced them. 15 is 10, 5, right? If we take 8 from the 10, there's going to be 2 left. 2 plus 5 is 7, so this is 7. And here we have 2 plus 5. Oh, well, that's 7. We just solved it, didn't we? So that's true. Lola and Charlie are using expression cards to make true number sentences. Use pictures and words to show who is right. So let's see. We have one, two, A, B, C. There's three parts to this question. Here's just the first part for Lola and Charlie. Um, Lola picked four plus eight. Remember the, you know, the expression cards that we use in class sometimes? Uh, hopefully you use them too. Uh, she picked 4 plus 8. That's her card. 
and Charlie picked 9 plus 3. That's his expression card. Lola says these expressions are equal, but Charlie disagrees. Who is right? So we're going to see what is 4 plus 8 and what is 9 plus 3 and see if they're the same, and then we'll know who's right. So let's see. Lola picked 4 plus 8, which equals, well, 8 needs 2 to make 10, right? And there'll be 2 left from that 4. So there's your 10, 2. That's 12. Charlie picked 9 plus 3. We could just count that up. 10, 11, 12. Right? And because we have to show, right? We have to show it. So if we're counting up on our head or with our fingers, we have to write down the numbers we count just so we, because it says we have to show. Uh, and that's how you do it. Uh, so we have, uh, they're both 12. So Lola says the expressions are equal. So she's right because they're both the same. So they're equal. So, uh, and that's our explanation right there. We just have to say Lola is right. And here's how you spell right. Who's right? There. Charlie picked 11 minus 4, so that's his expression card, and Lola picked 6 plus 1. Charlie says these are not equal. Lola disagrees. Who is right? <laughs> it says use a picture to explain your thinking. So we're going to draw pictures to do this. So we have the 11 minus 4. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We cross out 4. Right, so we know we're going to have these left. That's going to be 6 and 1 more, so that's 7. This is the 11 minus 4. And label it with that expression card. And then the other one, Lola picked 6 plus 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 1, which comes to 7, and this is the 6 plus 1. So they both equal 7. Equals 7, equals 7. Uh, so who is right? Charlie says they are not equal. Well, they obviously are. So that means Lola's correct. Lola is right. Right is one of those goofy words that you can't sound it out to get R-I-G-H-T. Uh, so it's one of those words you just got to see it to know and remember how to spell it. And it's always, if they're asking who's right, it'll have it spelled for you. In, in the question, and you can use that to figure out the spelling. So let's see. Lola was right the first time, and Lola's right again. Let's see what happens this time. Will Charlie finally get one? Lola picked 9 plus 7, and Charlie picked 15 minus 8. Okay, so Lola picked 9 plus 7. Lola says these expressions are equal, but Charlie disagrees. Who is right? So uh, it says use a picture. To explain your thinking. Okay, so we have to draw a picture. 9 plus 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we need 7. I'll make X's for the, the 7 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we've got 9, that's 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 9 plus 7 equals 16. And then Charlie picked 15 minus 8. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And we get a cross out 8. So this we got this uh, 10 row here. So that's We'll cross out from the 10. 
That's five here and two more. So that's seven. Fifteen minus eight equals seven. Uh, Lola says they're equal. Well, they're not equal. So Charlie got it right this time. Charlie disagreed. So Charlie is right. The following addition number sentences are false. Change one number in each problem to make a true number sentence and rewrite the number sentence. So here we start with uh, 10 plus 5. So let's, let's keep the 10 plus 5 because that's pretty easy to work with. And that equals... 9 plus what? Well, it can't be 9 plus 5, because 10 plus 5 can't be the same as 9 plus 5. To get 15, 10, 5 is 15, and to get 15 to a 9, we need 6 more. So that's what you do. We changed this 5 to a 6 to make it true. So here we have 10 plus 3. That's 13. And let's make an 8 plus out of 13. So 8 plus, we know we need 2 more to make the 10. And then 3 more to make the 13. That's 5 more. So 8 plus 5. And then let's look at the uh, 9 plus 3 and the 8. I'd like to change one of these to a 10. Uh, oh, and it'll work, right? Because we just did the 8 plus 5. We already know that's 13 from this one. So if we change that 9 to a 10, we'll have 13 on both sides, and it'll be true. So let's do that. Let's change the nine, this 9 here to a 10, and we'll have 10 plus 3. We'll have the same number sentence as the one we just did. Equals 8 plus 5. But we did what we were supposed to do. Uh we changed one number to make it a true number sentence. There are a lot of other answers that you could write that would be good for these. Uh, you could change any one of the four numbers to make it a true number sentence. So uh, your answers don't have to be the same as mine. Maybe you can find your own ways to do it.